I love you even if you please to be. What? The sword take on the giant crab? Drinks everything out of the Tokyo Hilton jacuzzi, including the people. Gross. Double gross. little crab uh, chewing on Betsy Wetsy dog. <laughs> that crab became inspiration for Dagon. Uh -huh. Also became my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hear that the beaches in Japan are uh, quite rad. Uh, very rad. <laughs> but I was in Malibu, Chuck Woolery House. <laughs> well, any final words for Seattle's would-be filmmakers out there? Oh, yes. Uh, Never shave werewolf during full moon. It's a waste of time. I didn't know that. It was a joke. Oh. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh well, thank you very much, Mr. Sahara. <laughs> this is Samantha at the cinema saying, save some popcorn for me. Huh? Very good interview, Ken. Oh, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. You were great. And as usual, so was I. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ernesto. Sayonara. Ciao. <laughs> Mr. Solara, I think your movies are great. I wish we could talk some more monster talk. Maybe you could come to our house for dinner? Dinner? Oh, I never been asked by fan to dinner before. Brunch once, but the dinner never. <laughs> you could come. It'd be so cool. I check my calendar. Huh? Brian? What are you doing for dinner tonight? You're welcome at my house, dude. Liver night. <laughs> Thank you. I think I have dinner with fellow monster lover. <laughs> so what's Dagon going to eat in his next movie? Giant insects or killer lizards or mutant accountants? No, no. Uh, I think I don't make uh, Dagon the Crab movie anymore. Oh, why not? Oh, that shellfish not good for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, besides, I am sick of crab. Mm. <laughs> George, could you help me with dinner? Sure. Oh, I thought dinner was almost ready. I made crab cakes. <laughs> oh, let's get the pasta machine. Hey, um, Ernie, honey, why don't you take Kenji into the den for a little bit? Because dinner's going to be delayed. Oh. Right. Okay, Mom. Come on, I'll show you my personal collection of Dagon tapes. Come on. Okay. Mr. Suara, <laughs> I always wondered, how did you make that goopy lava explode all over crazy Captain Colleary? You know, everybody asks me that, even my own mother. But I don't tell nobody. Not even your mother? Big blabber, ma. <laughs> well, if you told me, I promise I wouldn't tell anyone. Buttermilk. No. Then, oh, buttermilk. This is the greatest moment of my life. I knew you could be trusted. I have a secret for you, too. Yeah? Come on. Harry! Harry? Who is Harry? Did you make your own little monster? 
Greatest moment of my life. <laughs> I never see creature magnificent like this. Oh, even in my own movies. Annie, I like to have you Bigfoot in my next film. You can't do that. No one's supposed to know about Harry. Oh, but uh, no one will suspect he is real. With special effect, we can make it look like he is anywhere in the world, except the Tampa. He's so cool. Mm. Oh, he is going to be greatest of my monsters. Oh, no. You can't make him a monster. Harry's one of the good guys. Okay, we make him good guy. <laughs> ready? Dinner's ready. Oh. Mr. Bigfoot, you're going to be my biggest monster yet. <laughs> There's no way that I'm going to allow Kenji to make a movie with Harry. The next thing you know, you'll want us all to go on Oprah. Today, families with pets over eight feet tall. <laughs> Kenji promised no other people would be there. Look, Ernie. Oh, honey, honey, honey. <laughs> Wasn't there a time when you were a really little kid that there was something you wanted so bad it just hurt? Well, there was one thing. I did want to go out to California and meet Annette Funicello and sing on the Mickey Mouse Club. Oh, see? No, every time I see her do those peanut butter commercials, I get a little twinge. And... <laughs> anyway, maybe this is just one of those times when you got to put on the old sunglasses and say, what the heck? Please, Dad, please. I'll never ask for another favor again, as long as I live. What the heck? <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're the best. You're welcome. Oh, Harry, Harry. Oh, oh, yeah. Harry, Harry. Yeah. Oh, good. Good, Harry. <laughs> now, Harry, you scrunch it down, smile at the honey, huh? <laughs> he doesn't know what you mean. Actor always want the motivation. <laughs> I'm ready with some food. Ah. Harry. <laughs> Anchovy. <laughs> Come and get it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harry, your great teeth cut through fresh like hot samurai sword through ninja warrior. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly is this movie about? Is a love story. Factory. Sarah, you are having a wonderful day. <laughs> Suddenly, you see something. You some something big and scary. <laughs> Scream, Sarah. Scream! <laughs> Sarah, are you okay? I'm fine. I was acting. More or less. Mr. Sawar is a real film director. He's making a movie with Harry. Don't worry, it's okay with Mom and Dad. Yeah, well, just wait a second. This isn't okay with me. Harry needs to be protected at all costs. And I, for one, have great cheekbones. <laughs> I do? <laughs> you ever acted before? Acted? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, I played uh, Sneezy in Snow White. Here, watch this. Thank you. You are hired. First job as actor, get me handkerchief. Thank you. 
Okay, Walter. You walking along the road? Uh huh. You are thinking of girlfriend. You are filled with thoughts of love. <laughs> Suddenly, you sneeze. Ugh! <laughs> the sneeze break your reverie. You realize you are late for lunch. Why? Because you miss breakfast. <laughs> You can stop walking. Harry, stop! Stop! <laughs> That's a wrap. Showbiz talk for fat lady gonna sing. <laughs> Thank you very much. You have helped me tremendously. <laughs> I really needed it. My last film had the thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> this one, going to get. Up. <laughs> well, now everything can get back to normal. Normal being a relative term. I can't wait to see the movie. Oh, honey, calm down. It's just a movie. Oh, no, what am I going to wear to the opening? Wait, can't you forgot a thingy? Oh, honey, that's not a thingy. That's a... George, what is that? Oh, this is the storyboard. This is what the finished scenes will look like in the movie. Is that supposed to be Harry? <laughs> the Bigfoot that ate Seattle. There is a horrible roar. A beautiful young girl looks up and screams. Beautiful young girl, that's my scene. The Bigfoot takes the screaming girl and eats her like an anchovy? How could he do that to my character? <laughs> How could he do that to Harry? Looks like he's done it to all of us. Well... He's not going to get away with it. Yes, come in. Ah, the very talented Henderson family. Kenji, we believe you forgot your thingy. Everybody is movie critic. You're making Harry into a horrible monster. I don't remember Bigfoot having script approval. No. <laughs> Harry is a very gentle creature. He's not the monster you've portrayed him as in this movie. We want you to destroy the film. Impossible. I have rent to pay. Yo, Kenji-san, dude, I got a major pro... <laughs> Cal, do <you> dad. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Brian. I'm like this major student filmmaker. I'm Sarah. I, like, love major student films. <laughs> Brian, back off. This is not love connection. <laughs> oh, right. So, anyways, I was mixing up this monster blood, you know, like you told me to, mm -hmm. and it went totally bogus on me. It turned blue. <laughs> blue? No, no, it's supposed to be green. I have very important work to do. Ciao. <laughs> oh, so, anyways, I'm going to Hawaii next week. Do you want to come? No, she doesn't, thank you. She has a history test. <laughs> oh, kids. I guess it's pretty obvious. Kenji has no intention of destroying that film. We might as well go home. Come on. What do you expect from the man who brought you Dagon the Giant Crab? You're 
right, like that director guy isn't going to notice that the greatest film of his life is missing. <laughs> it's not a pizza hair thing. <laughs> You're right, Harry. Stinks. Trash it. I don't want to see this junk either. Stupid crab movies. I hate them. I hate them, too. Look at this one. Dagon goes to college. Like he can actually hold a pencil in his claw. <laughs> Kenji Sawara just called. He said his film is... Mm. Oh, Marty, you didn't. Daddy, I had nothing to do with this. I, I tried to stop him. Don't be too hard on him. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> I had to, Dad. It was either him or Harry. Just because Kenji is dishonest doesn't mean you have to be. I know that. But I didn't know what else to do. You're not going to take it back to him, are you? No. God. You are. Oh, you rewind this film, I'll be down in the car waiting. Uh, nuclear waste uh, falls on abandoned shivy. <laughs> and it comes alive. It eats Tokyo. <laughs> I call it, um, I need the original name. Uh, ah, shivy that ate Tokyo. <laughs> Come in. Ah, Ernie, my assistant director. I'm not your assistant anything. Here's your stupid film. That's where it is. What this? It was my collection of your Dagon the Crab movies. I don't want to ever see him again. Ernie, I know you're upset. But believe me, this is going to be my best movie ever. You're going to love it. It's rotten to make Harry a monster because he's my best friend I ever had. And if you weren't such a creep, he could have been yours, too. Whoa. What's with the little Ernie, dude? <laughs> Creative difference. <laughs> wow, too bad. This could seriously damage my chances with the big sister. <laughs> you want to chase girl or learn how to make great film? Uh, can I get back to you on that? No. <laughs> ah, Brian, Brian, come, come. Look, my greatest monster ever. Wow, total coolness. Mm. A monster that big could crush the whole world. Then, where would it live? <laughs> Brian, it is not the size of monster that make him scary. Right, it's those big, gnarly teeth. <laughs> Not they're just teeth, either. Oh, now I'm totally confused. <laughs> so, you know, eyes. Huh? Eyes are mirror of the soul. Gentle heart, gentle eye. Evil heart, evil eye. <laughs> Whoa, that's karmically profound. That's the piece. So, check out the Bigfoot. What do you see in his eyes? Uh, Brian, excuse me. I must talk to any dude. <laughs> Kenji. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Harry? Harry? <laughs> Harry? Harry? No, Harry. Harry. You are fired. <laughs> fired? What are you talking about? Mm. Well, you see, uh, first time I met Bigfoot-san, I wanted to uh, change him into something only I saw. And after Anita spoke to me, I look at film, and I see deep into Harry's eyes, his soul. No monster there. So you're not going to show the film? Of course not. I have reputation to live down to. <laughs> <clears throat> Annie, you sure you want to throw these away? 
Not anymore. Uh. Oh, Harry. I guess you're just going to have to face it. You'll never be as big as Dig on the Crab. <laughs> Her husband becomes a witness to murder while trying to cover up an indiscretion. Kim Basinger and Jeff Bridges star in the comedy suspense Nadine on the Sunday movie matinee. Next on Channel 11.